Okay, we are recording and starting off with some CJ's Elephant Antics. This is on the Amiga, this is a Codemasters game. So we just played, um... Sorry, I shouldn't say starting off. Oh, <laughs> okay, well that caught me off guard. Uh, well, forget my, um... Forget my monologue, um... This is... Adorable? Yeah, getting a lot of um, dizzy vibes here in the music. Sounds very similar to... was it Fantasy World Disney? Oh, there's a, there's a story there as well. He's in Paris, realises he is free, starts his long journey through Europe, heading for his home and family in Africa. Oh, okay. Okay, that was a brief view of the Eiffel Tower, was that? I clicked the mouse button. Why did that? Um. Oh, okay. Oh, we died. Oh, okay. We shoot. We shoot peanuts. got a little umbrella to... I'm guessing that's permanent? That's pretty neat. Not a great fan of the hit detection. Okay, and we... Uh, oh yeah, and we got bombs as well. I just... <laughs> yeah, don't know why I didn't notice that sooner. Um, Hold down fire? Down? Oh, it's just down. Okay. Wow, okay. Just goes... <laughs> Just straight up murdering creatures now. It's like, oh, isn't it cute, adorable? He's shooting peanuts. He just lazzed bombs at everyone. I know everything's just fair game to this guy. We're supposed to be feeling sorry for this character as well. Oh, oh no, it's Cloud Blinky. God damn it. You to play as in two player co op. Or just seeing one elephant on the screen. As opposed to any elephants. So I've got no problem throwing bombs at uh, people, that's fine. Dogs and frogs. It's... Oh wow, there's another cloud. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, invulnerability? Okie dokie.
Wait, where'd that... <laughs> Fox only spawned out of nowhere. Oh, that's a bit cheap. Um... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how I was going to get out of that bit. down from there. Range of the frog is. Oh, okay. Uh, Quasimodo spits at venom at us. Oh, hmm. Do you, hmm, I'm guessing you... Oh, wait, that, that frog just wants in on the action. Oh, that did not get me. Can... are you supposed to just walk past him? And are you supposed to, like, shoot the bell? I guess not. Okay, looks like we gotta defeat him. Right, sorry for overthinking it, game. I think we just hit him the normal way. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Get ready, French bonus level. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Um, what? Okay, that was... I hope everyone enjoyed that bonus stage. Was I supposed to waggle the joystick? What is that? Are we supposed to um, waggle the joystick on that bit? I like, I like how you call dogs. Whoops. Oh no. Oh, and that's how we die. Fantastic. Oh, just, just game over. <laughs> That's such a lackluster game over screen. Just game over. Okay. Also, yeah, I like how he's called dogs woofies. It's like, oh, woof woof. So I'm pretty sure I don't 
don't remember the, uh, the Eiffel Tower being lathered with spikes. Yeah, not sure how to avoid that part. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's try, well, waggling the joystick, pressing the arrow keys left and right. right. I, no, that didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> okay. On the next level, there's gonna have uh, they're gonna be um, there'll be like a wanted potion, uh, wanted posters of missing girls.
just realised we got over 40 bombs. I think that would make him a threat to... Oh, I can say a threat to society. How do I get up there, then? Hmm. Maybe we're not supposed to go up that bit? Oh, because there's spikes down there, so I guess down here. Go through those spikes. Kind of glad, actually. Exactly. We're, sp we're supposed to wait for the other carriage, but um, where is it? There we go. Oh, that's such an such an awkward place. Okay, this, this part here is pretty bad. So you gotta get the, you gotta wait for the timing to be just right. Okay, there we go. Face another boss soon? Just one life though. Okay, it's an angry. I was gonna say it's a ghost bear, but okay. I don't know. I say, try not to get too close to. Oh dear. It's actually, okay, bought a clue. There we go. Oh, <laughs> we, got, we got stuck in the spikes this, this time. Okay, and we're in Egypt. Fantastic. And we, we sure travel fast. Anyone read hieroglyphics? Oh, mummies can start bouncing around. Um, let's have a look. Sonic Rin, Bird Eye. Um, 
Death Death Hill, a protractor, a bug. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it translates to CJ, you've killed enough already. Just please go back home. Oh, there are spikes down there. <laughs> this this game over screen gets me the most. I don't know why. It's just it just feels so weird. Like you expect like a bit of a jingle, like a you know a sad jingle. It's, oh, you died. Da, 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 da. Instead, it's like nope, that's it. Show's over. Escape. Yes, we can. Yeah, I don't really want to die that quickly. Did that kill me? Oh, angry. Oh, it's definitely a cloud. Okay. Angry cloud confirmed. I'm trying to think of, um, like, good games that Codemaster did. And I suppose a lot of the Dizzy stuff was uh, pretty sort of iconic back in the day. Gonna, there we go. So I remember getting the Dizzy collection some time ago. Oh, of course, Micro Machines. Yeah, that was excellent. But 
but, but yeah, I remember getting the Dizzy first collection for, I think it's like $24.99, but uh, came with five Dizzy games. Uh, Fantasy, Fantasy World, Magic Land, Treasure Island, and two, you know, two, they did a few sort of arcade-ish sort of games, didn't they? Uh, fast food and quick snacks. And yeah, they were all like, they were all pretty good games, but uh, made for a very sort of excellent collection. I was a little bit disappointed with the other collection. I can't remember what it was called, but it gave us, um, what did it give us? Uh, Prince of the Oak Folks, Spellbound Dizzy, Quick Snacks again, which I thought was a bit cheap. God, we're doing really bad this guy. Uh, Bubble Dizzy and Panic Dizzy, which I'm not sure if he's still in chat, but, um, there's a certain person who's really, like, who really detests Panic Dizzy. Because it wasn't... It was like, Dizzy but not. Like, it didn't even involve Dizzy, in a sense. You just you, you just sort of, you were just like in this shape factory. Sort of like an arcade puzzle game. And it was really boring. Oh, you yeah, had that collection as well? Nice. Codemasters also released the first... Oh, that's... Oh, did they really? Was that the first CD-ROM game for the Amiga? I did not know that. Was that the Big Six? Because I've heard of that. I don't know what you have to do there. So yeah, kudos for um, Codemasters for, you know, either doing, you know, okay collections for games, or if they release stuff singly, I don't think they ever released released them on full price, it was always something like $7.99. It was, uh, yeah. So that, you know, so even if the game wasn't that good, you know, you didn't pay full price for it. Yeah, they released um, Dizzy for like um, the older stuff as well. Uh, on the Spectrum, on the C64, I believe. Thank you very much for the raid of 25. Hope all is well. What were you guys up to? Let's uh, give this gentleman a bit of a shout out, shall we? But yeah, hope everything is well. Hope everything is well in the world of Retro Demiogi. Please give him a follow if you haven't done so already. Oh, pushing things over. Okay, there's a clue there. Pushing things over. If we... Okay. Is it... Um, was he playing... He was playing Thin Push, wasn't he? Thin Push for the Amiga. I remember that game. We controlled a mosquito. And he had to push... Uh, uh, dominoes and stuff. I remember that one. <laughs> I remember Thin Push. But uh, yeah, hopefully as well, Demi. Hope you're doing a good. Hope uh, life is treating you well. As is the 25 Raiders too. As are the 25 Raiders. English is good. So yeah, um, you notice that Demi has a fantastic grasp on the English language. Um, sorry to disappoint you. I am English and I don't. So um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Damien, thank you very much for the follow. A 
lazy Saturday. That's good. I thought Sundays were the proverbial lazy day. I'll say Pushover is, um, yeah, it's quite a, quite a frantic little puzzler, isn't it? As I recall. <laughs> Was that going to get even lazier tomorrow? What are you, what are you doing tomorrow that would promote such laziness? Surprising, yeah, it's surprisingly hectic at times, definitely. <laughs> Unicron, I'm, I'm believing that, I'm leading to believe that you are quite obsessed in the Blinky content. Did they do, um, yeah, so we played, what was it, Blinky's scary school on the Wednesday, I think it was. And I know that there's at least another Blinky game in the in the in the Blinky franchise. I hope there's not more than two. <laughs> Horizontal Sunday, yeah. How's it going? Thanks for following. So yeah, we've been on a bit of a um, Codemasters entourage because uh, not too long ago we played a game called Cosmic Spacehead, which wasn't too bad. Sort of combined elements of um, platforming and graphic adventuring. Kind of, kind of weird. Imagine playing, imagine playing a Jetsons game, and you're controlling the boy Elroy, sort of like that. Well, oh, that's referred to as posh, is he? Oh wow, okay. I was going to say, what would delinquent does he be? Um, oh, that's uh, probably... Oh, what was his name? Seymour? That one, that weird derpy egg with the blue gloves. Ah, oh, damn it. I feel that now that we goofed it now, these platforms, yeah, they're going to take ages. It's going to take an age to return to us. Because everyone talks about Dizzy, but not so much about uh, Seymour. Dizzy from Wish, yeah. Bootleg Dizzy. Like, he's a relative of Dizzy that, pre that Dizzy pretends he doesn't exist. So yeah, this is the tedious bit of CJ, waiting for the cabbage to come back to us. Nope, still can't quite make it. The music is good on this one. It's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Master puzzlers, uh, yeah, they did make a lot of. Um, besides Dizzy, they did make a lot of unusual uh, puzzle platformers. I mean, even Blinky the Ghost was like, oh wait, that was Zeppelin though, wasn't it? So maybe Zeppelin thought, well, we could chime into the Dizzy franchise by having a ghost resemble an egg.
Oh, don't give us little jumps. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Is it really? Okay. I mean, I was a bit put off by the first one, but... Uh... Oh, this bit again. Okay, so it's up. Oh, it's fire to jump. Okay. And oh, the, controls are, actually, the controls are naff on this bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. And as soon as you touch the, the spikes, you don't die immediately, but you freeze in place. <laughs> so when the level catches up to you, you just lose anyway. It's like, okay, just die when you go in the spikes. But that's the furthest we got on the bonus stage. So go us. I love that the final goal of Blinky was to wake someone up. Yeah, we never... Thank, thankfully, we never got that far. I think it was referred to in the manual, wasn't it? That was, like, the uh, objective. Okay, so far we get with only two lives. Can't imagine too far. How? Okay, are we supposed to even dump to that bit? See a jumping mummy from below. Is he just chasing us? Ah. Oh wow, I didn't actually know the bombs disappear. Okay, let's start over and grab those. First of the game, you're a soup maker. Second half, you're an alarm clock. Yeah, I mean, better than, still better than other Amiga characters. make for an interesting dizzy game. Uh, not, well, not dizzy. Got dizzy on the brain. But, uh, I don't know, your objective is just make soup for customers. And if it's the wrong soup, they just ex execute you.
Oh, don't start all the way up there, game. I'm trying to avoid the frog. I suppose. Really hate the bonus stage. Just, just abolish it. Blinky made Bobby the wrong. Ooh, that's an idea for a fan fiction.
Not too bad. Ooh, two balloons. And we... Okay. And we died. Don't know what the purpose of getting those balloons were. Just points, was it? Don't know. Yeah, I don't think there is a way of actually jumping across those spikes. I don't think so. Well, that was just brutal. Same thing before, didn't I? Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's continue. About ten-ish minutes. Oh, I'll wrap up this one. Wow, I'd... okay, that's the first time I've seen him shoot lightning at that angle. Didn't know he could do that.
Oh no, we had this before. <laughs> Get invaded by a frog somewhere. There he is. Do I want to be the boss? It's like, well, no. Bogey's spitting Quasimodo is going to steal the show here. stage so much. I like how it teases that I nearly get the balloon, but it's like, no. No balloon for you. Denied of balloons, go to Switzerland and kill some stereotypes. Hard to describe, but the controls are really weird with the bonus stage. Really is. Uh, yeah, the momentum seems way off.
Okay, you can make that jump. That changes everything. Uh, looks like I've got two mummies there. Great. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Wait, hang on, was that person supposed to... Did he just appear? I'm going to have to look at that again. I'm pretty sure that person just appeared out of thin air, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why does that... It's just the first level. Why do you get ambushed by frogs straight off the bat? Okay, um, I think we've got enough time just to play the first level one more time before wrapping things up for this game. Elephant antics. Yes. <laughs> well done for putting the title as a verb. And uh, hello to Crocodiles. How are you doing? We sure got the CJ kicked out of us. down here so we don't have to um, get killed by that frog when we fall down that bit. Okay. Interesting. Let's just see if we can just wipe out Quasimodo with only bombs.
Wow, no time at all. I'll go on one more try this bonus stage. It's a bonus stage, and we got stuck in some spikes, and now we move on to the next bit. Okay, um. So, yep, it is time to wrap up this game. So, first impressions. It's a very, let's just say it's a very, it's a very Codemasters game, isn't it? It's very typical in its Codemasters-ness. Um, seriously, it's okay. There are some instances where I feel, I feel like the hit detection is a bit off. I don't like this. I don't like certain instances where you can sort of drop down for ages, and there's like enemies and spikes, and there's nothing you can do about it. I thought that kind of uh, it's a bit unfortunate. But besides that, yeah, we're probably looking at a. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the rest. Oh, if there's one thing that's interesting about the game is I like the way it starts you off with a lot of lives. Most games just like start you off with three, and it's like okay, go crazy. So it's almost like, instead of picking up extra lives along the way, you have to finish the game whilst taking as few lives as possible early on, because you really sort of pay for it when you go into the really hard territory. Although having said that, I don't know if you get any extra lives for finishing the bonus stages. So there's that as well. Hey Maker, hello, how's it going? You're just in time to watch me sign off from this game. So uh, yeah, CJ's Elephant Antics. Oh, there was the two-player mode, wasn't there? Two-player simultaneous. So let's have a look. So, yeah, okay, that's kind of unique, that two people... Oh, where did the other player go? Died already? Oh, okay, because he's using the mouse. So I guess that might be a... That might provide a bit more entertainment. So there we go. We'll leave on this one. That would make for a very spectacular gif.